Welcome back to this episode of Inside Rick Athletics. Today I'm going to be joined by freshman midfielder of the men's soccer team, Nathan Capello. Nate, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. You know, we've seen you guys out here before. You know, I, I had Donovan Battle on last time um, in a little bit of a different setting, but, you know, he was just talking about uh, the team's depth and, you know, a bunch of different stuff. But, you know, what's it, what's it been like for you, you know, as a freshman coming in, you know, getting a little bit of a starting role and, you know, really being able to um, link up with your teammates in a good way? Um, I have to say, I think the team, uh, it was very quick for us to get settled together. Mm -hmm. uh, I know my spot wasn't given, it was right. earned, so it was tough every practice. You know, we're always challenging each other, but we do have a good squad. We mm -hmm. have a lot of depth through the squad, and we've been doing good throughout the season. Yeah, that I mean, it's been showing so far. 9-3-1, so, and one, right? You guys have a couple losses, but you, you guys had a little bit of a win streak in the middle of the season. You know, kind of explain what was uh, going well for the team during that middle part of the season where you had probably eight, seven or eight um, unbeaten streak. And, um, you know, how are you guys looking to go into that, you know, uh, with the Little East coming up? Uh, honestly, I think it's basically just taking one game at a time. Mm -hmm. Coach always says it, just take one game at a time, and then throughout the rest of the games, we'll work our way through it. Right. I mean, we were just talking about this a little bit before, um, you know, we started this interview. You have two assists on the season, still maybe searching for that first goal. Um, you know, what are some things that you look for in a defense when you're attacking up with the ball? You know, I'll give you a little bit of a scenario. You know, say, like, you have the ball, you have Seku and maybe Anthony in front of you, and you have, like, four or five defenders in the back. Are you going to look to maybe take one one-on-one -on -one and maybe find Seku or Ant, or are you going to try to find those guys right away and make a run? Um, probably find them to make the run. Mm -hmm. uh, Seku's a key player and Ant's another key player. Right. They definitely help us a ton. Yeah, yeah, they're both up there scoring six goals apiece. I know Anthony leads, um, you know, the LEC pretty much in points with 20 so far this season. You know, how well have those guys been able to welcome you into the team? Definitely a lot. Definitely grateful for mm -hmm. them. Tariq, too. Yes. Um, I've had a close bond with Tariq and Seku before the season, so having them on the team, definitely a plus. Right, yeah, I, I've had t uh, Tariq on earlier, you know, he was actually talking to me a little bit after about, you know, a goal celebration that he would do if he were to score one. So unfortunately, I actually haven't seen a goal out of him at home um, since I was able to talk to him, but, you know, we're still going to look for those goals, and, um, you know, you got a tough one against Connecticut College coming up later, um, you know, they're actually watching this right now as this is going on at halftime, but, um, you know, what are some things that you guys are looking to do well against Connecticut College? and what has been the you know the team talks from both coach Bradley and coach Froberg well obviously they're a good team I mean they're ranked in the nation right. so uh, basically just play our game we don't settle for who they are mm -hmm. And basically just keep the ball when we have it as much as we can. Right. Yeah. I mean, they took on Coast Guard. They beat Coast Guard 3-0. But we've seen a whole bunch of different scores throughout the season of different teams. So it's really about any given day. You know, you guys can go out there and win today 1-0. You guys can go out there and draw. But there's also a chance of uh, possibly losing as well. But you guys don't really have that on your mind. It's sort of just like the win, uh, the win first mode. You know, try to get it up to your star players and uh, try to get that going a little bit. But how, how well have you uh, been able to, you know, accustom to the college? life I know you're a freshman right and trying to get still getting used to stuff or maybe have you already settled in pretty much I think I've settled in pretty good with it yeah. it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be but it definitely helped out yeah so is this like your sort of like your first time away from home and living away from home I don't I commute so commute? It, it's okay. not that bad but for college yeah right yeah I, yeah it's definitely a different atmosphere you know you guys get to see everybody you guys get to pretty much do your own thing in college I know when I was an undergrad it was COVID season 2020 so my freshman year was sort of me just sitting in my room trying to find stuff to do and stuff like that but you know once you know college got on for me I was able to really expand and you know grow my you know, uh, friendship so you know how is friend making friends like outside of soccer like have you been you know have a couple of guys maybe in some of your classes you got like to rely on and stuff yeah like the, that? the classes isn't too bad I mean I do have some friends in some of my classes so it's cool to just have them there yeah it's definitely just good to see some new faces every day right you know it, it, sometimes you know your teammates could get a little sick of you you know if you guys are you know fighting in practice and stuff like that but it's it's fine that you guys you know have have that um, good co compatibility mode but I do have a little bit of a fun question here for you you know um, if you were to you know go anywhere in the world um, just for one time like if you were to just visit one time one place one time you know what what would a place like that be like um I'd probably say the Bahamas. Bahamas, yeah, yeah I think Caribbean, it's just yeah. nice and relaxed. Yes, that's right. Is there is there like maybe a favorite um, pl uh, favorite thing you like to do maybe in the Bahamas? Maybe like jet skiing, jet snorkeling, skiing. snorkeling, yeah, for sure, jet stuff skiing. like that. Yeah, I saw some jet skis out on the Cape. Actually, I was just down there the other day. I'm like. 
Geez, it's still warm out. <laughs> People are still going like that. That's, that's so cool. But um, I do have another fun question here for you. You know, um, if you were to take on anybody one on one, being an offensive player, you know, if you were out on the left or right wing, um, if you were to go up against like a professional defender, who would you like to go up against? Uh, probably Kyle Walker. Okay. Yeah. Is there a specific reason why? Um, he plays for my favorite team, yeah. Man City, yeah. and with his, how fast he is. It, and how strong he is, mm -hmm. it'd be a good battle. Yeah, he, I mean, he's been fast. He's been having pretty much the highest pace in the league ever yeah. since. I, I can remember pretty much. And I'm a Crystal Palace fan, so I'm not really <laughs> doing too good. We're at the bottom of the league right now, but um, hopefully they'll turn that thing around. Hopefully. Yeah, so, yeah, this has been our time today so far on Inside Rick Catholics. Just want to thank Nate Capella for joining me today as they're going to be on taking Connecticut College later on the LEC Network. Um, be sure you stay tuned in for that one as well. It's pretty much going to be one of their last home games. They're going to be taking on them and then Keene State on Saturday for their senior day. Um, so be sure to take uh, watch that. It's going to be a, a good matchup for Keene State because you know you guys have to win that one, right? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Because I mean, you, you guys are sitting in second right now or tied for second. So mm -hmm. um, if you guys get that win over Keene State and then get the win over Western later in the season, you guys pretty much have that second spot secured. Definitely. All right, that's been it so far today. Once again, just want to say thank you. Thank yeah. you for having me. Yeah, awesome.